Okay. <clears throat> I had posted about this on the Google there, but I, I'm, since I said I wanted to make a video, but you know, we had the eclipse and everything. Instead of doing a video about that, which there's freaking thousands of them, and I didn't even get no good pictures of it because I don't have the right equipment to do it. But anyway, uh -huh. this is really more fascinating to me. We know that was really cool and everything, but this here is a hundred million years old. Uh, and it relates to my paintings here. So, uh, it says seven complete specimens of new flower, all 100 million years old. Uh, they were fossilized in amber, you see. There, how it looks similar. It looks like, not like that one, but there's the others. You know, I'll leave the link to the, uh, you know, my collection there and the video of my art there. But anyway, uh, there it is there. One of them. There's the, um, that's the name of it. I can't even pronounce it. I'm a little dry. Uh, it says, uh, it's a new species of tree that they discovered from 100 million years ago. Uh, it says they're only 3.5 to 5 millimeters in diameter, necessitating study under a microscope. Uh, There you see how it got its name and everything, and uh, it says the amber preserved the four parts so well that they looked like they were just picked from the garden. It says dinosaurs may have knocked the branches that dropped the flowers into resin deposits on the bark of the Arucaria tree, which is thought to have produced the resin that fossilized in the amber. The trees are related to Karui, I don't know if I'm saying it right, pines found today in New Zealand and Australia. And they produce a special resin that resists weathering. Uh, it builds on early research, also involving Burmese amber, in which these guys described another species in the name Angiosperm genus Tropid. I'm not going to try there. Uh, that species is named for its flowers discoverer. Uh, findings were recently pub this published there. You can look this stuff up. Uh, the new species has spreading veiny sepals and nectar disc and a ribbed inferior ovary like teeth, like that, no, I'm going to try, <laughs> that dude said, but it's different in that it's bicarpellate and two elongated and slender styles and the ribs of its inferior ovary don't have darkly pigmented terminal glands like the, that, yeah. Both species have been placed in the extinct family, uh, I'm not, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. That, a widespread southern hemisphere family of 27 genera. It was probably a rainforest tree, yeah, most likely, from the looks of the, of the flower there. Uh, yeah, what's that? Okay. In their general shape and the nation pattern, the fossil flowers closely resemble those of the genus, this, that occur in Australia and Papua New Guinea. One extinct species is... C. gummiferum, which is known as the New South Wales Christmas bush because its five sepals turn bright reddish pink close to Christmas. And that's, that's my sky, that's Odin on my sky. Hey, Odin! Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, and there's about another extinct species in Australia, the ca couchwood tree, which, like the new species, has no petals and the only, only sepals. The towering co ca couchwood tree grows to heights of greater than 120 feet, can live for centuries, and produces lumber for flooring, furniture, and cabinet work. That's, that's really cool. Uh, and what, so what explains the relationship between a mid-Cretaceous, that word, <laughs> from Myanmar, Burma, formerly known as Burma, and an extinct, that word, from Australia. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that, and I'm not going to butcher it. More than 4,000 miles and an ocean way to the southeast. Uh, you know, if you consider the geological history of the regions and stuff, you know, the continental, you know what I mean, the changing of the earth's, earth changes, you know what I mean there. Uh, so there you go. That's all of this, but it's got a link to this here. I'll put the links to these below. That's the complete study about it there. Uh, and acknowledgments. I don't think it's complete. It looks anyway. 
probably looking further. I'm going to because that's really interesting, you know. And uh, here you go. Here's an, I pulled up another article about it too, you know. So see, look at the pictures there. Uh, that flowers. So uh, that's really cool. I mean, like I said, you look at some of my stuff I've done with the flowers. You know, that's that I seen that, and I'm like, oh, wow, you know, that looks. You know, like them, you know, not completely, but uh, the general pattern of them and the way I'll put the lines and stuff in them on the petals there sometimes. So, yeah, that was, I was like, wow, you know, that's really cool. And it says the detail on the tiny flowers is amazing, uh, perfectly preserved, uh, 100 million years old, discovered in Myanmar uh, there. So, uh, and they're tiny there, so giddy bitty. Uh, so uh, it's just saying pretty much what the other said there. But I, I'm like I said, I'm showing this for the pictures there. I have it blowed up, so it's bigger there. So that's really cool, you know. And you know, when I like I said, when I seen that, you know, I was like, wow, you know, um, that looks familiar, you know. Um, the there. So, but anyway, um, I just wanted to share that with everybody there. Thought it was really cool. Um, so uh, there, there we go. Uh, that. So, but anyway, uh, it's amazing. You know, like somebody commented on it uh, earlier. Um, this makes you wonder. You know, what what else is out there waiting to be discovered like that? You know, even it, like in the bottom of the ocean and stuff like that. Uh, you know, um, I've been painting these flowers and drawing them for about two years. Uh, so, you know, that was like, wow, you know, uh, so there you go, it's all, we're all connected, that's another thing there, it's, uh, anyway, just putting that out there, you know, that how things are passed down in the genetic memory or in the records that we can access, the, the cash records, whatever, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, you know, I just thought that was really interesting and cool and wanted to share it with everybody. So I hope everybody's had a good day and everything and having a good night, whatever time it is there for you. So it's uh, 8.01 p.m. here. It's August 21st, 2017. So uh, anyways, like I said, I'll put the links there below and the search there too. Uh, but uh, like I said, you can look more into that other stuff that it talked about that they found similar to this, uh, other ambers there or whatever. So, but anyway, much love to everybody and take care and I will see you again sometime this week. So.